a womanizing cop, I got that. You know, you need to play a fabulous gay, I got that. Murderer, got that. You know, straight bro, gamer, I got that. Like, I have it already. So if people want to come at me and say, you can, I'd be like, but I did. You did. Were you ever close? Like you said, you knew you had all these pilots and they were, were you ever close to like a part that we all know? Yes. You know, why? And I don't know if I'm allowed to, are we allowed to say? Yeah, it? it's I, years later. I feel like, okay. Um, so there's something called getting pinned. It basically means like there might be an offer out to another person. Um, but, you know, if that person says no, then, you know, it, it may go your way. And I definitely got pinned for, you know, shows that might have been in outer space. Um, I definitely have come close. Oh, I have a good audition about like this what is, shows in outer space. I'm not going to say because the person who got it, like I love them, but and they did a great job. I could never touch their their amazing. I can't picture but any show in outer you, space. The audience knows. Um, anyway, but let me go into this one because this is wild. Let's I come to it. LA and Modern Family is brand new, and the casting director is so excited to bring me in for this role to play um, uh, Cam. And now I just come off Queer Eye. Just come off playing a non-binary character in Xana Don't. Just come off playing a drag queen. So eight years of LGBTQIA stuff, and here's a gay role. Jay comes to L.A. with a chip on his shoulder. He thinks being queer is going to be his detriment, so he is adamant that he's not going to be playing roles that are stereotype, flaming, fabulous, you name it. I was not about to do it. So I, in my not-so-infinite wisdom, went into an audition for Cam, for Modern Family. Now, the show wasn't out, so clearly I'm going into audition for this. And I decided to play him Butch. So not at all what they were looking for. And I'm three lines in and I'm auditioning here and y'all can't see this behind the camera, but there's a couch over there. The producers are sitting there, okay? And the casting director is sitting where you are and I'm doing a scene with him and there's a camera here shooting me. And I see them looking at me, I'm three lines in and then they just look down and they zoned out. I was not funny, I was too defined. Like, had I known that Sofia Vegada was in the show, I would have made him Latin and fabulous as if the apple doesn't fall far from the tree and Mitch wanted what his dad had too, but the male version. Missed opportunity, but um, but you know, I think he he played Cam beautifully and, and, and hilariously. I could not touch that performance. But um, there's a lot of roles like that. I will tell you, many actors who audition as much as we all do, you'll be like doing your business, like washing dishes, you got a TV show on, you're like, those lines sound for, oh, I went in for that, you know? Well, that is single all whole... the way, single all the way. That Michael Yuri holiday movie. Yeah, I called. I think two callbacks for that. Um, didn't get. It. it was to play his love interest. Not number one on the call sheet. We're not there yet. But we still got to play the boyfriend. Like <laughs> Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Sophia, he wants what the fuck that would have been. That See, but how, I didn't know that she was on the show. But but you know, with Malibu Country, let's go back to that. The role was written more urban hip hop, kind of like reggaeton guy, like more street. And I was like, why they call me at four forty five on a Friday afternoon in the valley? Like they're wasting my time. I'm not in my mind inner saboteur. Not I can't play that. But I thought they'll never see me as that. So in the car on the drive over, I was like, can I curse? Yeah. I was like, fuck that. So I decided he was going to be Puerto Rican gay from New York City from the Boogie Down Bronx. And he was going to be able to cut you with his words and maybe a knife. And that was not how it was written. So I went in and auditioned, made him fabulous. Casting director was like, yeah, give us Angel. Give us like, and I was like, okay. They bring the producers in and the writer and they're crying. I'm like, I had to change some of the words to make it work. They're like, we don't care. This is amazing. Had a chemistry test with Reba. She's crying. And, but I still had to screen test. And, you know, it's four guys go in for the studio. Then two get cut and two of you go in for network. And then you wait and find out if you got the part. But that was a, a testament in making something your own when you're encouraged to do so. Where they're like, no, no, no. Like, I've gone in for, this will blow your mind. I've gone in for major motion pictures and TV shows where it's like a, a cartel drug lord. And I'm like, in what world? Like, happy to do it, can do it. But in my, my old thinking, in that office with that agent, I'm still thinking they ain't going to let me. Not realizing I've grown as a human, as an actor, all these things, and I'm capable of doing it. So I'll go in, I'll play like the, 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 the strongest, like, you know, most um, frightening Latin version that can come out of me, uh, drug lord. And I've had times in auditions with a director who's like, that's great. Can we do another pass? And all these men with guns around you, you fuck them all. You fuck them all. 
they all will blow you it doesn't matter like you own everything and your sexuality doesn't need to be heterosexual and i was like oh, that's fascinating that's more interesting yeah and i didn't even think that this archetype or this stereotype because i was always going out for drug dealer criminal drag queen like you know latin lover I, it never dawned on me that some of the roles I was being seen for, that they were like, yeah, you, you could play him straight. That's fine. But also, there's no reference of him being straight. What would it look like if you came in and he just happens to be queer? It's a non-issue. But I'm sure there's queer people in the criminal crime yeah. world. Why can't we color it that way, too, if you're playing the role? And I was like... Listen, I don't think Meryl Streep, who I share a birthday with, wakes up every morning thinking, I need to play a lesbian to prove that I'm a legitimate actor. Back in the day, people were like, are you scared of being typecast? I'm like, what does that even mean? Are you telling me that I can only be a legitimate actor if I only play straight roles? Now, with the kind of queer roles being written, having such depth and being able to do so much more, I don't care if the character is queer. I don't, I, I don't really consider their sexuality. Also, let's be honest. I'm not in a place where I'm like getting stacks of scripts and like not going to do that one. You know, um, you kind of, you know, I was watching an interview with Sarah Paulson today and she was like, I didn't get to pick some of my earlier work. She's like, you just you just want to work. And so you take the job and you're like, oh, God, I got to make something good out of this. Or like, oh, I don't love what this might. I'm going to try to tweak here. And, you know, but you don't really have a lot of options. Was there ever a time where you thought you had a lot of options and you passed something up? Like, I, I, thought, with oh. your, I thought with your modern family story, you were going to say that you didn't want to be it. typecast. And you said, I didn't even go in. What and then I was going to say, well, that should keep you up at night. I mean, I'm sure I did. Oh, I mean, I ended up doing it. But I passed up the producers a bunch of times. Uh, Carmen Gia. It was during Queer Eye. And I was like, I do not want to play like this fabulous director's assistant in this musical never saw it just saw clips and then I went to go see it and I was like oh wait I actually do want to do it but I passed on it for like a year and then I went and did it for a month on Broadway after having done the movie in a smaller role and it was such a it was such a profound experience because Rent was a Broadway show that felt more like a rock concert producers felt like very moving sets and a full orchestra and I was like this feels like you know, Broadway, you yeah. know, and so I'm glad I had that experience. But I'm sure when I leave here, I'm going to think of litany of other things that I passed on that ended up being big deal. I did get asked to do Naked Boys singing, and I passed that over to David Hernandez for him to open the Vegas version. And they were like, you know, it is full frontal, blah, blah, but it's going to be very tastefully done. And I was like, mm, I'm kind of okay. You're like, I'm not sure how that's going to work. At that point, just start an OnlyFans, you know, at that point, you know. Were you almost Zachary Quinto's role, Doctor Spock in Star no, Trek? No, we were getting yeah. warmer. Man, you know my 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 space my space knowledge isn't really. I was there. just pinned. I'm sure they That's could have pinned still... like five or six people, but I get that a lot. You get pinned a lot, and I've I've told other actors, I'm like, don't don't like you know plan your future off a pin. Um, you know, if 